I don't suppose I can convince you to sit in the other section. Where is that? The restaurant next door. If you tell them it's your birthday, you get a balloon. <laughs> you can't fool us, Tina. We know you like us. Apparently, I can fool you. <laughs> oh, look, Mona. A special Valentine's drink. Love on the rocks. Vodka, bitters, and a shot of regret. That's got your name all over it. Valentine's is coming again? Damn. You know, I am barely recovered from being dateless on New Year's. Well. I plan an evening for Neil he'll never forget. Although he says he can't forget any night he spent with me. Why don't you just drive this through my hand? It would hurt less. Come on, Mona. You've got to be doing something for Valentine's. Oh, just the usual. Spending it alone. With Spencer, it's our tradition. Well, this year I'm breaking tradition. And Spencer saying he's breaking tradition is our most cherished tradition. <laughs> I mean it this time. There's got to be one love-starved, desperate woman who hasn't turned me down yet. <laughs> There's got to be another one. Through this journey of discovery, through this journey of discovery, finding you, I'm finding me. Finding you, I'm finding me. Now that I have someone special who brings out the joy, brings out the joy. <laughs> and if you can't be with the one you love, honey, love the one you're with. Hello, love the one you're with. Do 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 do. A baby bubble now. Do 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 do. Ow! Do 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 do. Ma. Damn, I had one dude left. <laughs> So happy about Morgan Freeman finally answer your letters? No, but his lawyers did. I guess my last love poem was a little raw. But that man's been hot since Electric Company. Mm. And I'm excited because Valentine's is almost here. And that day for a therapist is like tax season for a CPA. I am book solid with losers at love. I don't mean to be insensitive, but ka -ching! Well, it's just another lonely Mona day for me. Maybe you'll find yourself a man this year. Ma, I'm surrounded by men every Valentine's. Orville Redenbacher, Captain Crunch, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you always wanted me to end up with a doctor. <laughs> you know, just when I think you've hit rock bottom, you start digging a tunnel. <laughs> Why are you so down on yourself? Cause romance never works out for me. Oh, excuse me, you've had several good opportunities this year. Remember Brian the Bug Guy? He liked you. No, I told him off in an angry phone rage. Well, how about Miles, that sports writer? He was really good looking. Oh, I told him off in an angry bar rage. <laughs> well, what about Calvin? He seemed nice. Oh, he was, but his boyfriend told me off in an angry disco rage. <laughs> you know, I probably should have been suspicious when Calvin introduced me as Miss Thang. <laughs> What you doing? Uh, just drinking in your beauty. Good answer. <laughs> Neil, I'm not sharing you with anyone from your office right now. They want some hot chocolate. They'll have to send out for it. Baby, I promise. Whenever I'm with you, work doesn't exist. Mm. Ooh. I, I better get dressed. Why? It's not like there's some kind of judgmental prude around or anything. Hello, hello. Oh, good, you're both here. I thought I'd lock the door. And I thought I had a sound marriage. Looks like we were both wrong. Maybe you two need to talk. I'm... Neil, how can a man have a pager and a cell phone and still be unable to communicate with his wife? Uh, he doesn't have an email address. <laughs> I can see you're going to be of a no help here. You're dismissed. Go, go, go. Thank you, ma'am. Mom, what's going on with you and Daddy? I am just tired of that man not being emotionally available. I can't keep filling the void with shopping. Although Tiffany took away some of the pain this morning. Have you 
talk to Daddy about this? Talk, please. Face it, little me. All men are the same. Except for that Morgan Freeman. You know, he has been hot ever since Electric Company. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by again? Hard to believe you beat out a hundred million other sperm. <laughs> smooth. Cheesy and humiliating, but smooth. I'm starting to wonder if all three of us aren't going to be alone. Neil hasn't even mentioned any Valentine's Day plans. It's a man thing. You see, we brothers like to keep the ladies guessing. It adds to our mystique. Where did you read that? Brains in our pants monthly? <laughs> He's got a point. An idiotic one, but a point. <laughs> I'll bet Neil's planning to surprise me. And I love surprises. As long as I know about them in advance so I can do my makeup. If I have to listen to you yap on about your boyfriend, I'm gonna need a shot of something. Hand it, Chaser. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. Uh, I knew if I waited long enough, you'd apologize. Ryan, I didn't expect to see you here, or ever again. <laughs> mm. You know, my phone hasn't been the same since you told me off that day. I think it actually melted. Well, you still should have called me after our night together, but I guess I did handle things pretty badly. No, 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 no. I did. I did. Look, Mona, I really liked you. It's just that when we got so close so fast, I got scared. And then after you yelled at me, I got really scared. <laughs> but, uh, it is nice to see you again. I was just thinking the same thing. Mm. And we did have a really incredible night together. Well, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> So, are, are you here with anybody? Oh, just Spencer and my sister. How about you? Ah, uh, actually, I am. But it's a guy. His name's not Calvin, is it? <laughs> nah, he's my cousin. Hey, Brian, who's your new freak? Whoa! <laughs> it's you. Miles? Wait, am I on a hidden camera show or something? Wait, is this for Fox? <laughs> what, you two know each other? Yeah. Miles and I dated, too. Until he told me I wasn't black enough. This is the girl I told you about. You're kidding. This is the girl I told you about. This is Psycho? Yeah. This is Whitey? Yeah, that's me, Psycho Whitey. Looks great on my business cards. Hey, P. Whitey. Could you pick your pride up off the floor before I trip over it? Thanks. Chaos cannot enter the place wherein the serenity candle burns. I left your father. <laughs> There's 30 bucks down the toilet. Mom, what are you talking about? He's done it again. Actually, he didn't even do it. He had a secretary do it. And I can't stand that woman. Like anybody believes she's 32. <laughs> you know, Felicia's had so many facelifts, one more to be a cesarean. <laughs> Yes, mother. Your father cannot make a Valentine's dinner. He has business meetings he just can't get out of. Wasn't that the same reason he missed your birthday dinner? 23 years, little D. I'm tired of being an afterthought. So, I left your father to see if he even notices that I'm gone. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna shop the platinum right off his Amex. <laughs> Hello? Hey, sweetie. Hi, Dee. Listen, I need to talk to you about tomorrow night. You do? <laughs> well, this is a surprise, and I love surprises. You're not gonna like this one. I know tomorrow is Valentine's Day, but can we take a rain check? I have business meetings I just can't get out of. What do you mean, business meetings you just can't get out of? Sound familiar? Get out of here! <laughs> Neil! Sweetie, tomorrow's very special. It's our first Valentine's together. I know, but this account is really huge. Why can't we celebrate it on the 15th? Because then it's not Valentine's Day. Then it's the day after Valentine's Day. Which part of this is unclear to you? 
The part where my girlfriend understands I have no choice. In fact, I'm hardy in L.A. What? Oh, you have a choice. And so do I. And I choose not to be in a relationship where I wake up 23 years from now feeling like an afterthought. <laughs> my God, it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> I know hanging up on him was kind of rough, but I had to make sure he felt guilty enough to cancel that meeting and come back here. I've not put all this effort into this relationship to spend Valentine's Day alone. And the children shall lead them. <laughs>
It's hard to find a crazy lady with such a great rack. <laughs> hey, I call him like I see him, and you do serve him up. <laughs> so, Dee Dee, has Neil surprised you yet? Oh, he surprised me, all right, by being in L.A. on business. I can't believe all my manipulation failed, and I did everything my mother taught me. And where's she? Alone at my place, trying to guilt some diamonds out of Daddy. <laughs> Dee Dee, is that the kind of relationship you want to have with Neil? Some kind of game-playing control fest? It's not about control, as long as he does what I want him to do. <laughs> yeah, but what about honesty and give and take? And you don't have to be sitting here alone. If Neil can't be here for Valentine's, then you go to him. You mean pack my own bag, spend my own money, and fly to L.A. last minute at the risk of flying coach? <laughs> There's a shuttle every hour. I've got just enough time to grab a teddy and a taxi. <laughs> you know, Neil would have never left that girl on Valentine's Day if she knew how to cook. What the hell are you talking about? It's a well-known fact. To keep a man, you have to feed a man. Here, I'll prove it to you. Tana. What's the fastest way to a man's heart? Through his chest with a sharp knife. <laughs> Give me something hard next time. Happy Valentine's Day, chocolate drop. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. You said we were having brandy. I thought you meant the drink. Everyone, this is my girlfriend, Dee Dee. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, good. I have looked everywhere. Have you seen my Dee Dee? Oh, I guess she didn't have time to call you. She flew to L.A. to be with Neil. Last minute. She didn't fly coach, did she? <sighs> Personally, I think she gave in too soon, but she will learn. Hmm. Now, I, on the other hand, held my ground and got this from my well-trained husband, a titanium MasterCard. <laughs> that man really loves me. <laughs> we have many happy years together. Yeah, you and Daddy are quite a pair. Talk about the credit card. <laughs> oh, what a day. I can't remember the last time I had to dry so many tears. Yeah, poor dear. Were you trying on bathing suits again? I'm so tired, I don't even have the energy to insult you, you wig-wearing jackal. Hey, I just got my second win. You were seeing patients this late? We were starting to wonder if you got lucky. How kind. That feels his age. Getting lucky is finding her car in the parking lot. People, please, I'm trying to celebrate here. Celebrate? What happened to Brian and Miles? I decided not to go out with either of them. See, if I choose one, I lose one. And with my track record, the date would probably go badly, so I'd end up losing both of them. You following me? Barely. No, this way, both offers are still on the table. I'm still desired. I didn't let Valentine's beat me. I beat it. <laughs> I begged her to come for a session this morning. At least we're all here together. Well, since no one has offered to buy me a drink, I guess I'll buy my own. I know how Phyllis feels. For 20 bucks, I can accidentally spill some decaf on her. Ma! This is fun. Neil, I'm sorry. I ruined our first Valentine's Day by trying to make you prove how much I meant to you. Well, I should have been more clear about how much you do mean to me. True. But my work means a lot to me, too. And it should. Your drive is one of the things I find really attractive about you. You have to do whatever it takes to get noticed. Well, my boss certainly took notice tonight. He was your boss? The guy who hyperventilated? Yeah. Lucky you had that paper bag from the pharmacy for him to breathe into. I just wish I'd taken the condoms out before I handed it to him. <laughs> Didi, I really appreciate all you went through to sneak into my room so we could be together tonight. Well, if we don't get busy, it'll be the day after Valentine's when we actually celebrate it. And you know how I feel about that.
Look, man, you said you didn't want to date her again. You said the same thing. Yeah, well, I like her. Well, I like her more. Well, I dated her first. Well, I dated her last. <laughs> Do you want me to break this up? Do it and die. This is the best Valentine's Day of my life. I'm older, Mom. I got more hair. Oh, okay. That's because you got your daddy's hook head. Which you had to put it like an anchor. Granddaddy had to hook it. His daddy before him had to hook it. We all had to hook it. <laughs>